I recently received these rechargeable batteries for review. At first glance I was impressed with the packaging and the amount of information provided on the cells itself. I received three type of batteries. It took me about a week to charge and discharge the cells for testing and here are my findings. Not too long ago I have reviewed 18650 batteries from Panasonic, LG and Sanyo, which you can watch by clicking the link above or in the description. With these cells, uh, when looking at the packaging and the amount of information on the cells, I was more impressed. eBet is a fairly new company. They seem to focus on 18650 batteries and provide decent information about them. There were no major surprises when weighing the cells. I was happy to see that they have used good isolation on the positive end of the cell. When many companies use paper-based isolation, they have used plastic. Or when measuring them. Next I used my IntelliCharger i4 to charge the cells. Even though the IntelliCharger i4 supports 26650 cells, you can only charge one at a time due to its size. And then I discharge the cells using my RC charger. In order to test the 26650 cells properly, I decided to connect them using nickel strip and spot welder. Here are uh, the test results. One of the 26650s uh, was much lower than the other, so I decided to recharge it. After retesting it, it went even lower. In general, I must say I was impressed and happy with the results. If you have watched my other video about 18650 batteries from LG, Panasonic and Sanyo, then you know that they all showed a lower milliamp hour after the test. When comparing those to eBet, I was mostly impressed with the build quality and the provided information. As for the price, I've been told by my contact at eBet that the prices vary for the X 18650 cells from two and a half dollars up to three dollar twenty five. Lower prices are for bulk. I couldn't test the dis discharge rate properly, but if you guys have any ideas on how to do that, then leave a comment down below. I'm also going to charge and discharge them a few more times to test the life cycle, but that's for a future video.